Hello friends, welcome back to El Barrio's Cooker channel. I'm here making a Texas tri-tip roast with uh, barbecue butter and uh, don brisket rub from Pick Maker. It's a simple prime cut of meat, it's like 25 bucks. You know, it's a California cup, never done it before. I figured I'd give it a try here. So I did a base salt, pepper, and garlic, and then I did the barbecue butter, rubbed it on there, put it on there. And then topped it off with that dome brisket. You get that at Pit Maker. They're not sponsoring or nothing. This channel just got some seasonings I like to use. So we got the fire going here. I'm gonna put it in. Uh, I want to get it to about 125, 135 degrees, and then we'll uh, on the internal temperature. Um, once you get at that temperature, temperature, you want to uh, sear it off. So at the end, we'll put it right over the fire. Give it a nice crust. Um, it won't overcook it, it'll still be medium, medium rare. As you can see here, it a uh, clear blue smoke. You don't want too much penetrating smoke, so I think the fire is good, you know. So I'm using pecan, all pecans, leftover wood that I got. I gotta go get a new batch, so I forget. Heck, why not use it? So, uh, yes, my temperature gauge is off about 20 degrees. I'm gonna replace them. Uh, that's come out of a temperature probe inside the pit to monitor. The ambient temperature of the pit and for the internal temperature of the roast. It's not a big cut of meat, but hey, it serves a lot of people. This here will serve probably about five or six people, or me by myself. <laughs> but uh, you want to get a good golden cutter, get it to about 125, 130 degrees. And what we're going to do here, set it to the side, and we're going to go over to uh, direct heat right over the fire. If you don't have a big smoker like this or an offset smoker, you got a Weber Smoky Mountain or a Weber Kettle, same thing. Put the fire charcoal to one side, put chunks on on top of the fire and put your meat on the other side. You're still gonna get the same results. And uh, you don't have to have a big fancy, big trailer or big expensive smoker. So just do that and you'll get the same result at the end. You put uh, right over the fire, get that nice crust. Here I decided Put a little uh, audible. I did a uh, chorizo with mozzarella cheese and my own version of queso flamado. So we'll put the cheese on the cast iron. That's straight over the fire. Well, I don't know what kind of cheese they use. I use what I got. So we're with mozzarella. We'll top it off with a little bit of garnish, a little bit of cilantro, and uh, go from there. I'm gonna try it. I don't. I've never had it before, but I'm sure it's good. So. We'll put that there, that's what the cheese is melting like. We'll flip it over like an omelet, garnish with cilantro. Uh, heck, sometimes it fails, sometimes it works. This one looked like it worked for me, so we'll find out when the taste, uh, uh, when the taste goes right or whatever. Here, I bring it all in. I let the, while I did the chorizo, I let the roast, uh, what you want to call it, sit for about 20, 30 minutes, and you'll see all the juices that goes back into the meat, and then it, it releases a lot of uh, juice. So um, once, there's a sausage I threw in, another audible put sausage, hey, I cook what I got in the fridge. If I see something, I'm gonna throw it in there, hey. There's no perfect way, so I'll slice it here. It's got, on this tri-tip, it has two grains. Cut always against the grain for the best results. Fat cap, nice. Um, you'll see it going one way and always cut across. Just like brisket, you know, brisket has two ways. It's got the fat at the point, the flat at the point. So this is an incredible taste, friends. You gotta try it. Throw it on your pit one afternoon and you won't, you won't regret it. I'm telling you, it's a small, what it took me two and a half hours to cook. It gets up to temperature. Get it out, like I said, key is to get it to 125, 135, pull it off, throw it right over the uh, fire. And when it, it's super soft, you won't, uh, you won't regret it. You'll love it. So that's my version. Hopefully you liked the video, guys. Keep watching to the end. You'll see the final results. I'll plate it up with the caprice salad. So thanks for watching again. Thanks for all the support for El Barrio Cookers. See you on the next video. I'm not the best editing guy, but thanks for watching, man. Appreciate it. Have a good weekend.
Okay guys, here's the finished product. Texas tri-tip. Uh, beef smoked sausage, queso flamel, and caprice sauce.